Hi, I'm Andy Pernsteiner. I work for VAST, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek into the VAST AI operating system. You probably already heard from Renan and Jeff about what the AI OS is and why it matters, especially for organizations looking to elevate their AI capabilities in an easy, scalable, and robust way. But I'm a practical person, and I like to show rather than tell, so let's start with the use case that's tangible and relevant to a day in the life of a VAST account executive. Yeah, I could have chosen a more technically focused goal, but oftentimes the most important problems to solve are the ones that block the least technical staff in your organization. One challenge that our account execs have, particularly the newcomers, is preparing for meetings with customers and prospects in varying industries, especially when it's one that they're not well versed in. It can require an intense amount of research involving many different data sources. There are tools out there that can help with this, but typically they are cloud-based and don't have access to our CRM, ERP, call home, and data center-based systems. At VAST, we take privacy and security pretty seriously, so we need something that can operate within our firewall at scale. Additionally, each of these data sources on their own is not enough to form an understanding. They need to be correlated together and summarized, a process which requires deep thought and reasoning. This time-consuming and complex process is often a barrier which can prevent account executives from building and being effective at understanding a client's challenges, to the point where they have a more difficult time identifying and building solutions. It also takes quite a bit of time, which reduces their overall bandwidth, especially when it comes to meeting with new clients and designing their solutions. The good news is we now have a way to leverage AI to make quick work of this. To do this, we're going to use the VAST agent engine to construct a sales assistant agent. First, I'm going to go through a few basics. There are loads of unstructured files and objects that our employees create and collect reports on market research, white papers involving solutions for a variety of use cases, and even testimonial videos from existing clients, which could be of use. They all live on the VAST data store, a multi-protocol, scalable file system and object store. For these assets to be valuable, they need to be searchable, but not in the traditional sense of being indexed. In the AI era, they need to go through a process known as embedding, where unstructured data is converted by a model into compact numerical values. These embeddings need to reside somewhere fast, scalable, and reliable, since they are a critical component of finding relevant information quickly. They're stored in the VAST Vector Store, an extension of the VAST database. It natively supports rapid ingestion and retrieval, exposing APIs for nearest neighbor and similarity search. Speaking of the VAST database, to make our sales assistant effective, we also need to pull in transactional information, order history, support tickets, call home data, and a variety of other structured data sets which natively reside within tables in the VAST database, a highly scalable transactional data warehouse which is optimized for high-speed ingestion as well as deep historical analysis. We like to eat our own dog food here, so we've migrated many of our legacy database, data warehouse, and data lake tables into the VAST database. Doing so means that more of the data is in one place, making it much more efficient to be available for AI agents. Here's our next challenge. Enterprise data is constantly changing. New files, documents, new database records, and streams are coming in all the time. We can't rely on manual processing or custom-built scripts to keep up. That's where the VAST data engine comes in an orchestration and processing framework that we can use to build all sorts of things on top. But before a function, a pipeline, or an agent can process data, it needs to be made aware of it. That's why we built a Kafka-compatible event broker into the VAST AIOS. When a new file lands, a new data of any kind, a new file, an object, a database row, or whatever, it triggers an event. That event can trigger pipelines to process and index the data. To get that set up, I'll enable bucket notifications, which publish events to a vast topic, any time new data is ingested, modified, or removed. Next, I'll create a trigger, which listens for these events and is the entry point into the vast data engine. 
triggers kick off functions, which are then stitched together and combined to create other elements and pipelines. That brings me to the Vast AI Pipeline Studio. It's a visual, intuitive, no-code tool that lets you design workflows, ranging from basic pipeline to extremely powerful, agentic workflows. To start with, I'll create a pipeline which generates embeddings for different types of resources so they can be included in searches later. It's just a matter of selecting the elements that I want to include, drag them into the canvas, and connecting them together. So far, I've just set up a flow which will make this data easily searchable and accessible to LLM-enabled applications. This is but one small piece of what our sales agent needs. To construct a full agentic application, I need to combine pipelines, functions, and data sources, and LLMs. To enable this, I'm exposing my newly created pipeline as an MCP tool. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, an open source standard which has been widely adopted in the AI community for defining how tools and functions can be exposed to applications and AI agents. In the vast AI studio, you can expose any bucket, database table, topic, function, or pipeline as an MCP tool. This allows us to use and combine components quickly to create sophisticated agentic flows. Okay, I've set up some triggers, functions, and pipelines. I've built out a set of MCP tools. It's time to bring our sales agent to life by creating an agent. This is made easy by the Vast Agent Engine, where I can stitch all of these elements into an agent which can research, think, reason, and generate. The first building block to choose is an LLM, which acts as the brain for the agent. In this case, I'll choose a locally hosted model from the Llama 4 family but I could have just as easily used another open weight or commercial model hosted either on premises or on any external endpoint I choose. Now, since this agent is meant to augment an account executive, I'll check the box to require human interaction at certain stages of operation. This is also the point where I can create or modify the instruction or system prompt, which adjusts the agent on how to perform its actions. Think of it like a, a job description for your, one of your employees. Now that the agent's base instructions are defined, I'll drag in the MCP tools that I need to make it effective. Documents, CRM records, customer call home data, testimonial videos, and even web search are included. Okay, agent is built. Time to give it a spin. To do that, I'll log into a chat interface that's exposed by my agent. It's worth mentioning that because this end-to-end -end flow is housed and managed on the vast AI operating system, everything is encrypted and protected. We've implemented a simple, flexible, and comprehensive policy engine to govern access and to ensure privacy. All facets of the vast AI OS use these policies. In my case, my AI agent is acting on behalf of whomever logs into the chat interface. It will only have access to data that I have access to. That's true for documents, database records, vector embeddings, and even external sources where I have an account. Generally speaking, with any AI-based system, the better your prompt or instruction, the better the result. But sometimes you're in a hurry, like I am today. So I'll just write something quick and see what I get. The first thing that we notice is that our handy assistant will create a plan for how it intends to produce what I want. This is where the human in a loop checkbox comes into play. Like I said, I'm in a hurry, so I'll just tap the go button. Think of it like vibe coding for sales research. Normally, I'd go grab a cup of coffee and check in later, but this is my first time interacting with my newly built agent, so I want to watch what's up to. As you can see, our little buddy is dutifully sticking to its plan and is scouring, querying, and sifting through many data sources to gather information. When it's done searching, it performs a reasoning step to review what it found and use that knowledge to build a comprehensive summary, complete with links to resources and even videos. Now, I have everything I need to go into my next meeting with confidence and even have some assets I can include in my presentation to help reinforce my understanding. Well, that was fun. Time for that coffee.